Good morning, Ashland, and welcome to the fourth annual Ashland Day celebration as we get set for the big parade. Right now, the last word we had is that the parade is approaching uh, Homer Avenue, and it should be here momentarily. So while we have a chance, uh, let's talk a little bit tell you a little bit about the parade, the parade route, and some of the other activities, festivities for the day, and we'll salute some of the people who have worked all about 365 days on Ashland Day, 1989, as we take part and a little pride in our town. The parade started up at the high school, off 135, came east on Union Street, where it's turning onto Homer Avenue, and It'll be coming down Main Street here and past the reviewing stand at Town Hall. And we should mention uh, up next to me here on the reviewing stand, we have our parade judges, Francis and Kay Powers. Mr. and Mrs. Powers will be judging the various floats, bands, and what have you. And uh, we'll be picking some winners in those categories and presenting them with some awards. The Powers are members of the Ashland Historical Society. They're on the staff of the Directions newspaper. And they're also on the Town Library Board. And if you ever need to know anything about Ashland, well, I think that you got to see Francis or Kay Powers. We want to mention to all of you people who are out here watching the parade that this is just the start of a full day activity. Don't forget over at Stone Park, the gazebo, the pavilion, there'll be booths set up, there are booths set up for the whole day and the opening ceremonies will start at noontime at the gazebo and you'll have the presentation of the Citizen of the Year Award which will be made by the Ashland Day Committee who has worked long and hard to come up with a Citizen of the Year. And the announcement will be made at noontime. And if you really are in the historical nature, we should mention that in 1986, the Citizen of the Year went to Ben Montenegro. 1987 went to Bernie Kane. And last year, Beverly Dort. So who will be the Citizen of the Year in 1989. That announcement at noontime at the gazebo. Some other activities at the gazebo. 12:15, seabirds start performing. At 1:15, Ellis Paul and friends will be there. At 2:30 at the gazebo, John Stone's Memorial String Band will be there. 3:45, Bobby Watson Band will be performing. And at 5 o'clock, the closing ceremonies, the awards, and the raffle drawing. Meanwhile, over at the pavilion, 1215, music by Heavenly Fusion, and at 1.30, magic show with Joe Carota. So you've got a full day of activity at the gazebo and the pavilion. In addition, there's booths set up over at Stone Park, there are all sorts of events. The Ronald McDonald Show, that's at 12.15 at the basketball court. The Ashland Day Auction, that's 2 to 4 p.m. over at the basketball court. And the Fireman's Ladder Rapple at 3.30, that's the softball field. Plenty of other activities. There's the Dunk Tank, the Senior Citizen General Store and Bake Sale. The Ashland uh, High School and Middle School activities as well with their various booth specialties at Stone Park. One thing we'd like to mention is from Ashland Day, the committee raises a lot of money. And we should let you know that we should let you know that uh, in 1986, the committee raised some $15,000, and that went for the baseball lights, 
over at the high school field. And they also donated a considerable amount of money to the gazebo, the construction of the gazebo. In 1987, the money that year went toward building the pavilion at Stone Park. And what an effort that was. And a special thanks the committee would like to give to Rick Galani, who spent long and hard hours over at the pavilion, along with Boris Lipitsky, the Carlson Construction Company, La Pointe Electric, and some of the other gentlemen who worked on some of the plumbing there, Ken Wilkinson, Charles Featherstone, and Doug Cheney of La Pointe Electric. And that was in 1987, and if you can recall back in 87, that was uh, pretty inclement weather. And today we really lucked out. Hugo has passed us by, and we've got a beautiful day for the full day's activities here at Ashland Day. That pavilion just about finished now. It's a real beautiful structure, and the whole stone park is really something that the town of Ashland can be proud of. For all you joggers and road runners, 12.30, if you want to get in a race, there's a little 5K road race starting at Stone Park. That should be fun, a little over three miles. And you can sign up by getting over to Stone Park and putting on those running uh, shorts, your running sneakers, and going about 5K. While we await the parade, we'd like to really uh, single out a lot of people who have worked on Ashland Day and uh, make it something that they really love. And uh, everyone likes a little appreciation and uh, some recognition. The co-chairman for your 1989 Ashland Day this year, Ben Montenegro and Joe Magnani. And I'll tell you, they have really done... Uh, a heck of a job. I know Ben is up here on the stand, and Joe uh, probably still over at Stone Park trying to set up and put the finishing touches on. He was up probably all night, as most of the committee were, praying and hoping that Hugo would go away. <laughs> and as I say, they've really lucked out on that. But uh, Ben and Joe have done a fantastic job of organizing this, making it bigger and better each and every year and something that the town of Ashland can be proud of. Dick Maha, the secretary for Ashland Day, along with Cheryl Hart, who has been on the committee since its inception back in 86. The treasurer, the guy who pays the bills, makes sure the books balance, is Warren Thompson. On your parade committee this year, you had Nancy Hauser, Rick Galani and Harry Marchetti. What a job they've done putting this parade together. Bigger and better than ever. And you'll be seeing some of the parade as they're probably making their way down Homer Avenue right now. You'll, you'll be hearing some of those fire engines coming. You can hear them in the background. Isabel Harrison, what a job she's done on the booths. And just uh, all around lending her support and doing everything. She's also up here uh, on the reviewing stand right now. We'll be seeing many other people as well as the parade goes by. Fundraising, always a very important part of any festivity. Kathy Hebden and Helen Condon. Cost a lot of money to put the parade on and put together a day like Ashland Day. Don't forget you'll be able to see the entire Ashland Day again, the parade and a lot of the other festivities on our Ashland Cable Channel. So you be tuned and uh, watch because you'll be able to see it as all the fine people from the Ashland Community Cable uh, do their thing and bringing this parade to you. The entertainment this year, headed up by David Foster. And you'll be seeing a lot of that entertainment, as I mentioned, over at the gazebo and the pavilion. 
as the day unfolds. On the media and public relations, Deb Mackey and Beverly Paris again doing an outstanding job uh, forming everyone and anyone about all the events and everything else in Ashland Day. June Garrick coordinating the senior citizens with Ashland Day and their booth. You'll see them in the parade route as well in a couple of spots. Yep. The Miss Teen again is uh, headed up by Harry Marchetti who seems to like to do that every year and pick out one of the finest of Ashland's youngsters to be saluted here as the Miss Teen 1989. The setup, the guys you very rarely see, but the guys who work all night putting everything together. You've got Joe Magnani, Tom Robinson, and Deb Mackey. Wally Brewer from the police department hitting up the safety. The raffle. Your president of the Ashland Chamber of Commerce, Lou Natacchioni. Equipment, Mike Duca, and some of the others. Working on uh, various committees, Charlie Backstrand, Cheryl Fish, Joe Noseworthy, and D Dory Lockwood. Others who certainly lend their assistance when the time comes, John Ellsworth, Barry Rufield, your superintendent of schools. Bob Winterholder, Mike Brogan, Bob Duffy, and Linda Gilani. Jim Reynolds, the high school principal, is the coordinator for the high school. And we had various coordinators for each and every one of the classes. The senior class, Aaron McGrath. Junior class, Zachary Holtzman. Sophomore class, Gina Coniglio. And the freshman class, Jay Doyle. Could you move along, you vendors? Please move along. You're not supposed to stop. And a special thanks to Larry D. Young, the art director at the high school, for the many signs painted up today. And a, another thanks to the Bose Corporation, John Stone String Band, the Ashland School Department for setting up many of the things, and to Mike Duca. As you can see, the parade is... Oh, maybe 100 yards away. You're going to hear these sirens. Get ready. You're going to... The winners. I said that. All right, here they come. You can hear the sirens in the back. Uh, first up, you're seeing the antique cars. Put in the parade by Wayne Champagne of Ashland and Arthur Swartz of Newton. Wally Brewer, safety chairman. And the antique cars. All the antique cars by Wayne Champagne of Ashland, Arthur Swartz of Newton. These are all the Watsons, as you can see. Boy, imagine driving one of those in a snowstorm, huh?
Ah, they got it going again. It's chugging along. And the fire engines from the Ashland Fire Department. Chief Frank Carrion. Here comes Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear. Well, we learned a long time ago that you never try to talk over the old blare of the fire engine if you want to save your voice. And you saw them all, Hopkinton, Holliston, Ashland. I saw Framingham, Marlboro. Also saw Bob Duffy's antique fire engine. And, and uh, for all you youngsters, you're going to have a chance to get to sit on that and uh, maybe even take a ride up at the kid's spot at Stone Park later this afternoon as the fire engines have gone by, and uh, what a noise, huh? We've got the bands and the music coming down Main Street here. We'll identify them for you very shortly as they approach. This looks like the Marine Color Guard, the 25th Marines, 4th Division. They're out of Worcester, Mass. Leading the way here. It's quite a parade and sit back and just uh, enjoy it. As they come by. Three divisions, and we're just in the first division, so get ready. Leading the way here is the Marine Color Guard, as I mentioned, the 25th Marines, the 4th Division out of Worcester. And right behind them, 
You have the 18th United States Army Marching Band out of Fort Devens up in Air, Massachusetts. You're not going to make those guys, those Marines, flinch. How about a big round of applause, huh? The 18th United States Army Marching Band approaching Fort Devens, Massachusetts. We now have the Grand Marshal, James F. Buckley, a longtime resident of Ashland, Massachusetts. He'll be stopping right here in front of the reviewing stand and uh, approaching us, along with his wife, Mabel, of 45 years. He's the former chairman of the Ashland School Committee, former chairman of the Ashland Finance Committee, also a member of the Ashland Housing Authority past commander of the Ashland American Legion, a former member of the Knights of Columbus, a past member of the Red Cross, the United Way. He's retired after 30 years with the Com Gas Company. And yes, as I mentioned, he is a longtime resident of Ashland, a 1930 graduate of Ashland High School. How about a nice round of applause for James F. Buckley, your Grand Marshal. Along with his wife, Mabel. Boy, he hasn't lost a step, huh? Look at the agility he has. As they come up onto the reviewing stand. We've got to find out who Miss Teen is. And quickly followed as the Grand Marshal comes up. We have the Miss Teen Ashland and her court. And we'll be identifying them as they come on up. Uh, Miss Ashland Teen, Miss Teenage. One of the runner ups, Kim Fisher. Aren't they beautiful, huh? Kim Fisher, one of the runner-ups. And we have the Ashland High Clocker cheerleaders. Mary Beth Kane. Penny Grover is Miss Teenage Ashland, Penny Grover as you watch those Ashland Clocker cheerleaders doing their thing. We now have the uh, school committee coming by and they'll be coming up. We'd like to identify the uh, school committee, the fine job they do. The chairwoman is Kathy Hebden, also working on Ashland Day. Denise Eddy, Ann Gentile, Henry, uh, Harry Henchy, and Barbara McGuire, your school committee. Next up, we have uh, some of the dignitaries coming by. State Senator Ed Burke. We have State Representative David Magnani. Selectman Paul Balutis. And uh, we'd like to single out the other selectmen here in town. Chairman Fred Winsman, Arnold Baker, John Ellsworth, who is working on the committee. And Rick Galani, of course, who is also uh, in the parade and a longtime committee member. And the old bus with the Ashland School Committee. Hey, 
This is the ride the lift uh, bus that's going by and our first float coming up. This is the Ashland Lioness Club and their beautiful float. How about this? Isn't this magnificent with the colors? The Ashland Lioness Club. Just a beautiful, beautiful float. The colors. And the Vietnam Veterans Association from Framingham. And the Greater Boston Pipe Band out of Marshfield, Massachusetts. The Greater Boston Pipe Band. The colorful kilts. Coming up, the Carpenters Union, Local 475. And their float. They're going to auction that off. Who's going to buy it? The Carpenters Union, Local 475, with a magnificent float. They're going to raffle it off tonight. Be there. Wow. What a beauty. The Massachusetts State Police Horse Unit. Some of your finest, the state troopers and the horses. Now you got coming up the Hills Mills Clown Band out of Fall River, Massachusetts, all the way up. Look at those clowns. How about a big round of applause for the clowns? A little more music. The Hills Mills Clown Band out of Fall River. I love their hair, don't you? We've got the Girl Scouts of Ashland. How about the Girl Scouts of Ashland? I always like those cookies. And the Ronald McDonald van. Don't forget the magic act. Comes up at 1215 at the basketball court. Look at those cheerleaders. Look at those uh, little Girl Scouts though, huh? Now we've got the WKOX van here. And that's just about the end of Division One. Got plenty more to come though. Divisions two and three as Tommy's Taxi. Anyone need a lift? You know, the committee wants to thank Chief Gonfrade, who has been doing that rain dance. 
all night long to keep the rain away. What a job he did. I think next year they'll have him start that two weeks in advance. And here we go with Division Two. And it's the Ashland American Legion post number 77, Color Guard, coming your way to lead off division number two. This is the Ashland American Legion post number 77 color guard. What a parade, and then we've got the American Legion Band out of Canton, Mass, coming up. What a band, huh? Did you notice what a beautiful shoe shine each one of those band members had? Coming up next, we have the Kid Spot Float. The Kid Spot Float. And the Ashland Senior Citizens Float. Coordinated by June Garrig of the Ashland Day Committee. This is the Ashland Senior Citizens Float. Nice big round of applause huh, for the senior citizens. Oh, look at the clown in the middle. Jack in the box. We've got the Royal Cadets. The National Lancers. Now we've got the Ashland Recreation Department, the kids on bikes. And I'm told first prize, Brian Slater, make a plug for Ashland. Second prize went to Kathleen Morrison, on um, bats for Ashland. And third prize, Ian Dyer, the Ashland Clockers, and an honorable mention to A.J. Alves. The Ashland Lumber Float, another beautiful job here on this float. Bears on parade, look at all those bears up there. This is the New England Military Vehicle Collectors Club. I remember many times riding in one of those Jeeps. And the deuce and a half. The Military Vehicle Collectors Club out of Hopkinton. Plus a local resident, they tell me. All right, huh? The end of the parade, I'm told, coming down Homer Avenue. We've got the Ladder Rain Christian Fellowship. And some of their clowns out of Ashland. A little airplane is the United States Air Force F-16 mini jet, a version of the Air Force Thunderbirds. Right 
How about that, huh? Take that home with me and put it in the garage. The old little U.S. Air Force F-16 mini jet. I think we got a jazz band coming up next. This looks like the New Liberty Jazz Band of Bill Ricca. They're coming up. Can't wait to hear some of that jazz music. Sounds like hold that tiger. Well, we held off the rain, huh? Beautiful day here for Ashland Day. And it's just starting. It's the New Liberty Jazz Band, Bill Rickham, Massachusetts. Give a listen. I tell you, the judges, Francis and Kay Pars, are going to have a tough time. A lot of great bands here in this parade. A lot of super duper floats. This looks like the U.S. National Guard military. Out of Natick. Looks like the Yankee Division National Guard. All right, we've got the Ashland Veterans of Foreign War, post number 2331, and their color guard from Ashland. Look how impeccably dressed they are. You've got the colonial band of Lawrence and Methuen up here. All the way down from the Merrimack Valley. The Colonial Band out of Lawrence, Mass. And we've got the Blackstone Valley Vietnam Veterans Association out of Blackstone Valley. Looks like the Ashland Knights of Columbus, post 48-22. And the Federated Church of Ashland, right across the street here from the reviewing stand. And their little floats. Coming up, you've got the 10th Regiment of Foot, Fife, and Drum. 
They will consist of three companies of 18th century British infantry, the regiment serving in America back in 19, uh, 1775. They are an exact replica of the regiment, which forced Captain Parker and his Minutemen on Lexington Green way back on April 19th, 1775, to start this wonderful country. Let's listen. Beautiful, beautiful costumes. And we've got the Ashland Cub Scouts, pack number one. The Cub Scouts, your leaders of tomorrow. And they're followed by the Boy Scouts, troop number 23. All right, the Ashland Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. Ah, oh, we got some clowns coming up. This looks like the South Shore Joey's Clown Band. Look at those clowns, huh? What colorful outfits. I like their shoes. The South Shore Joey's Clown Band out of Weymouth. How about a nice round of applause for the youngsters, huh? We've got the Valley Riders Hay Wagon. Some of your Ashland senior citizens aboard. Out of Natick, the Hay Wagon. Boy, those horses off and rolling. Looks like some of your Ashland Day committee members coming down the street. How about a big round of applause for them? Your Ashland, Ashland Day Committee. You'll see them all afternoon. And how about the short guy, huh? Uncle Sam and the short guy. Your Red Cross and the Ashland Highway Department with the Street Sweeper. That's going to do it. That's the parade. Now, don't forget. A lot of the activities start up at 12 o'clock over at the gazebo. The powers will have the award winners for us. We'll announce them over at the gazebo. How about a big round of applause for just about everyone who participated in the Ashland Day Parade, your committee members and everyone else. I'd like to remind anyone that's out there that wants to get involved in Ashland Day 1990 there will be a committee meeting in the near future. Just look in the local paper, and uh, if you want, get involved. It's a lot of fun. They'll be having a meeting in the next week or two for the 1990 committee and the festivities. We'd like to thank you for attending and look forward to seeing you again in 1990.